So the ingredients are broccoli. I'm going to take about three broccolis. I don't know how you else would you call them. These are called florets. I've learned some episodes ago. So this is a bouquet, <laughs> broccoli bouquet, three. It really depends on how much soup you want. Garlic, I'm going to add garlic because I just love garlic. I'm going to use about three cloves, some salt and some pepper. And of course, water. So this is the most basic, well, if you leave out the garlic, it will be the most basic broccoli soup recipe ever. But of course, you can add anything you like to this. Uh, usually people add some vegetable stock, carrots, celery, potatoes. It's more of a personal preference, but I like the pure taste of broccoli, so I'm just going to use broccoli for the soup. And of course garlic, because I love garlic. Yes, there is. First, I'm going to prepare the broccoli. Basically, cut off the florets from the stem. I'm just going to put them in a pot just to store because I have a lot of broccoli. Most of the people uh, throw this away or just not use it, but I'm going to add it to the soup. I'm not going to blend this, I'm just going to add this pure for flavor. If this cooks with the water, it will release all of its flavors and the soup will be much richer. For the sake of the flavor release possibilities, I'm just going to cut this in two so that the center is exposed and I'm going to add it to the broccoli. For the garlic, I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going to peel it, cut off the tip or whatever that is, and I'm going to cut it into. So here I have a large pot filled with boiling water. I'm just going to salt it a bit and then add your broccoli to it. That's a lot of broccoli. That's a lot of broccoli. Go down, a light sprinkle of salt on top. Also add the garlic to it as well. And now let it boil for about six to seven minutes. All right, six minutes later, you can check by cutting through a florette. If the knife goes through really easy, then your broccoli is done. Now we're going to drain the water. So I'm not going to drain all of the water because I'm going to use about half of it for the soup itself. So I'm just going to pour it in another pot. All right, now I'm just going to remove the stems. I'm going to leave the garlic in because it just adds that extra flavor and everything will be mixed anyway, so you're not going to really taste the separate garlic. Now comes the fun part. We're going to blend everything with a stick blender. But first, I'm going to add some of the boiled broccoli water. That way you have more control over the consistency of the soup. So if you want it thicker, you can add less of the fluid and the other way around. Let's mix. So, as you can see, the soup has reached consistency that I like. It's not too thick, not too diluted also. All there is left now is just to taste and to season. Give it another mix. And there you go. Now it's time to serve. I have sprinkled some olive oil on top just to add that little extra flavor. You can serve this with some crispy bacon on top, a little bit nuts, cheese, whatever you like, or just plain and simple like this.